Ja, ne, ich bin's wieder. Okay, so nahe Hara. Wir mit meinem Let's Play von Ace Attorney Investigations, Parsecutors Path. Und wir sind jetzt mal beim Finale der ersten Episode. Ich denke mal. Aber es, es sieht finalmäßig aus. Ich meine, ich höre das Presto vom Cross-Examination Beam. Also, come on. So. Dann wollen wir dir doch endlich mal in den Arsch treten, ne? Mit Killed Rook was vor allem von der Gun you found in the audience area. Äh! Nein! Schluck das, Schlampe! Neidly, you fiend! You switched the guns! The gun that matched the ballistic markings was yours all along! <laughs> Interesting choice of move you've made there. The switch occurred at the time you seized the evidence. When we were argue arguing with the president over the investigation rights. You detached the laser sight from the gun found in the audience area. And attached it to your gun. Then, when you returned the evidence, you gave me your own gun. <laughs> Did I do that? So... What you're saying is that I knew you'd want to examine the ballistic markings? Indeed. Staying one move ahead of your opponent is not a fundamental rule of chess. Revolver Ocelot Modus activiert. I'm glad you feel that way, Mr. Prosecutor. But you're giving me too much credit. Besides, can you even prove I pulled the old switcher all with the guns? Und das war's immer noch nicht. Ha! <lacht> der lässt nicht locker. Der gefällt mir. Guter Willen. So the gun happens to be the same model as mine. Pure coincidence. But take a look closer look. Only one of them has a laser pointer attached to it. Check the number of bullets left in the chamber. Only two shots fired. See? There's no evidence that I switched the guns, right? Giving you too much credit? That hardly sounds like something you'd say. Guess I'm just more modest than you. Well, except when I'm in front of a chessboard. <laughs> But we're not in front of a chessboard. That's too bad. Don't use that as an excuse later. I didn't lose the game, I just couldn't find enough evidence. You're the one who should have an excuse ready. You didn't beat me at chess, you only found the evidence. Okay. And Captain! Nightly's Logic Part 2. So, jetzt aber. Take a closer look. Ja, weil du sie ausgewechselt hast, verdammt nochmal. Did I switch the guns? Hmm. Vielleicht, wenn man besondere Fingerabdrücke bemerkt. That evidence is this. You call that evidence? Prosecutor's worth. You're trying too hard. Certain traces were left on this gun. Traces that prove this gun belongs to you. Show it to me. What kind of piece you got? A rook? A bishop? It's better not be a pawn. The traces nightly left on the gun are... Seine Fingerabdrücke. You left your fingerprints on this gun. Fingerprints? Ha! That should be expected. I handled the gun earlier when I seized your evidence. Of course my fingerprints are on it. But what if the fingerprints are in a place they should not be? What? Th that's not possible. Allow me to show you. 
There is one place where your fingerprints should not be. This piece of evidence will deal the final blow to your king. So, then wollen wir doch mal. Um Huch, eigentlich habe ich auf die Kammer gezielt, aber okay. This would be the grip. I've held the grip of several guns in the past, but never been a feeling present. Ja, so weit war ich auch schon. Here, Detective Gumshoe, please have a look at the cylinder. Two shots were fired, sir, but where would the fingerprints be? Hmm, okay. You made the switch when you seized the evidence earlier. However, if all you did was switch the guns, you would have been found out right away. That's because the number of bullets fired by the two guns are different. The gun found in the audience area had fired two shots, sir! Then, what about Mr. Knightley's gun? He fired two shots at a balloon when he was on the stage. And later, one shot to kill Rook. Three shots in total. Not counting the number of shots he's fired since then. And after each of those times, you would reload the bullets. Tell us, Knightley. Were you, were you wearing gloves when doing that? Ugh. Officer, in your report earlier, where were Knightley's fingerprints found on the gun? So, the fingerprints were just found on the outside of the gun. They were also found on the bullets as well. If all you did was handle the evidence, why would your fingerprints be on the bullets? That's... With this, it has been proven that you switched the guns. The gun which fired the bullet that took the victim's life. It belongs to you, Horace Knightley. You're the one who stole Brooke's life. You are the true assassin. I, I'm, I'm. Checkmate. <laughs> I... I should've been made leader! Me! Rook, that piece of scum! If it hadn't been for him, I would have complete control over everybody! My assassination plan... It was perfect! My plan... Was perfect! Detective Gumshoe if you please. Roger that, sir. Edgeworth! This game isn't over yet! You hear me? I... I... That's enough. The rest of this game will continue in the courtroom. Damn it! Damn you! Das ist mein Abgang. Und es ist irgendwie... Ich weiß nicht. Ich kenne das nur von gewissen Leuten, dass sie dass sie noch mal nach ihrem Breakout die Zeit finden, noch mal den Protagonisten zu drohen. 
Ich glaube, es kommt noch mal etwas mit dem Kerl. So also irgendwie... Ja. Und wie ich mir jetzt hier die Sprites angucke, hat er sich jetzt wieder aufgeplustert, der liebe Präsident. 25. März, 5.12 Uhr, Gold Lake Park Stage. You have my gratitude. You exposed a murderer amongst my bodyguards, and for that, I'm truly in your debt. As soon as he stepped outside the plane, he reverted back to his king-like persona. Some time ago, when I proposed the fake assassination plan. You want me and not Rook? Rook declined. So I'm asking you, what do you say? Alright, let's do this. I'll come up with the perfect plan. I can even use that guy as a chess piece. When Knightley said that, his eyes were overflowing with hatred towards Rook. Frankly, I was quite unanxious about asking Knightley instead of Rook. Now that I recall those events, you probably sense the anxiety in my countenance. Perhaps that is what gave him the impetus for murder. Mr. President, if you had not orchestrated that fake plan, this would not have happened. That is your sin. A sin that won't disappear. Yes, you are absolutely correct. You have my sincerest apologies. I too must bear some responsibility for this. Even so, I'm most grateful to you. I thank you for solving the mystery of Rook's death. I'm scheduled to stay in this country for a little longer. But if any of you ever wish to visit the Republic of Seng Fa, you will always be welcome. <lacht> Wie schön, dass Gam schon noch mal die Zeit findet zum äh, Dingsen. Salutieren. Oh, Lady, thank you, thank you, thank you. I'm so happy for you, Nicole. You were set up as the suspect for the murder. Still, your involvement with the fake assassination plan remains a fact. You will have to submit the police questioning later. You should know that there is still a possibility you may be charged with some crime. Yeah, I know. Sorry about all this. I understand you want to catch a scoop, but there is a line that should not be crossed. I hear ya. I promise to reflect on this. We did it, Mr. Edgeworth! That was awesome! Prosecutor Edgeworth solves presidential assassination attempt! It's gonna be big news! Big news? Mr. Prosecutor, would you mind telling us how you feel about solving this case? Jetzt geht das wieder los. That was certainly a quick change of attitude. No comment. Ah, oh, the piece of ornery! The reason is because this case is not over yet. Who? Huh? Not over? What do you mean, sir? What shows that this case is not over yet? Um, was soll ich sagen? Wir haben immer noch die Karte von Gil Killer. Die Killer's Card! Die Killer still hasn't carried out his request. You mean killing the president? I hope this doesn't turn into a larger incident. An assassination attempt on the president of Seng Fa. News of this incident spread across the entire country. The mass media also honored me as I began to prepare for the trial of Horace Knightley. Everyone had seen the news and everyone was talking about it. However, amidst the commotion, nobody noticed that the game had only just begun.
was ein ziemlich böses Spiel zu sein scheint. So, neue Episode freigeschaltet. Und natürlich save ich ab. Of course! Klapp. Und? Ja. Also, wow. Das ist schon mal ein guter Eindruck für die, für das gesamte Spiel. Also es kann jetzt nur noch wieder spannend werden, das Ganze. Oh, ich hab so vermisst. Mm, ich freue mich dann auch schon so auf September. Na gut. Episode 1, Turn About Target, ist dann komplett abgeschlossen. Hooray! In einem schönen Bild von Edgeworth. Das heißt, beim nächsten Part geht es dann mit Episode 2 weiter. Die Imprisoned Turnabout. Was da wohl jetzt auf, auf uns zukommt? Hm. Man darf gespannt sein. Yo. Egal ob positiv oder negativ. Bewertung immer gern gesehen. Das war's von meiner Seite. Wir sehen uns das nächste Mal wieder. Ciao, guys.